Okay, so in the question, you've got the cone below has a radius of 3 cm and a slant height L. The total surface area, including the base, is 24 pi cm squared, and you've got to work out the length. So before we do anything, we can use the formula book to help us. So right at the front, if you look in the formula, this would be given. Now this is useful because we wanted to find out the total surface area. And what we do know from the cone is that to work out the total surface area, we would need to know what the curved surface area of the cone is, and then we would also need to include the base. So, the curved surface area of the cone. Pi times R times L. So, looking in the question, we've got pi times the radius, which in the question is 3 and then times L, which we haven't been given, so we can just leave that as L. Now we can simplify this, and that would just give us 3 pi L. And that just means we've dealt with this part of the question. And we said that we would also need to know the area of the base, so we need to add that on. The area for a circle is pi R squared and that's for the area. So adding that on, the area equals pi times 3 squared, which in this case is 3 squared is 9, so 9 lots of pi. So for the total surface area we have now got 3 pi L plus 9 lots of pi. Now from the question we were told that it was equal to 24 pi. So we are now in a situation where we can start to think about solving that question. So if we use our favourite balance method and start it off, set the line down and look at the equation. We've got the L which is the unknown we're looking for. So if we take 9 pi from both sides, we're going to have 3 pi L left on that side and that's going to 9 pi take away the 9 pi is going to leave 0 so on the other side we've got just 15 pi. Now if we look at the left hand side we've got 3 pi L so if we divide both sides by 3 pi That is going to leave us with L on its own and 15 pi divided by 3 pi is going to leave us with 5. Now the good thing about this is that we can check our answer. So if we substitute the 5 back in to this part here where we said we knew we'd got everything that we needed to know, we would have uh, 3 lots of pi L, so we now think L is 5, so 3 lots of pi times L and the L we've said is 5 so 3 lots of 5 times pi which is 15 pi and if we add on the 9 pi that is going to get us to 24 pi so we know that we are correct.